Heavyweight champion Shannon the Dude, the team of Immaculate Joe Mack, Adam Revolver, certified Luke Curtis, they represent the faction. Uh, hasn't he read the memo? It is the faction, I swear to God. Steve, I'll admit this, I might not like the faction or anything they stand for, but Jesse has, a, has assembled quite the group of talent. I mean, any combination of them are deadly. You got Joe Mack, all the power you could want. Luke Curtis, a multiple time Rush Division champion here. Man will do anything to get it done. And Adam Revolver, one of the most tactical minds OEW has ever seen. Right, but then beyond that, the unspoken beauty of the color coordination, because they're all on the same page. Mentally, Brian, mentally, it's obvious they're all on the same page. What a triumvirate. Look at that wingspan on Joe Mack. And their opponents introducing first from Cedarburg, Wisconsin. He is the OVW Rush Division Champion, Cal Hero. Rush Division Champion because some jitterbugging from here to Wisconsin, Steve. One of the most popular superstars Davis Arena has ever seen. And his partners, Luscious Lawrence and Omar Amir. Speaking of beloved superstars, Omar Amir and Luscious Lawrence, Steve, joining Cal at ringside and Omar Amir. Man, making big waves since his big return just a few short weeks ago. That's the right. Race. The return of the Wet Dream Tag Team here at OVW with the Rush Division Champion. Pick it up right where they left off before Omar Amir's break. And here we go. Omar, Luscious, and Cal here rushing the ring, getting ready. Luke Curtis getting out of dodge with Joe Mack and Adam Revolver going right into the fray. <laughs> Luke Curtis ringside with Shannon the Dude strategizing, I guess. And, oh, blindside attack on Cal here from Luke Curtis. Now Omar and Lush is backing down Luke. Steve, this is just a melee kicking off this matchup. I don't know if Luke Curtis understood that he was going to be the only one in the ring. What a th toss to the outside. Cal Hero throwing Luke Curtis like he's in a burning building. Good Lord. And we knew this six-man tag was going to get out of hand. We didn't know it would be from the absolute get-go. I let you see right there with Shannon, the dude, manager extraordinaire and radio heavyweight champion, regrouping. The Faction looking to get their head back on straight here. The Faction starting to circle the ring now like a pack of hyenas. Look at Cal, Luke, and Lush just going back to back, making sure they're watching each other's backs. Oh, look, at a revolver, cheap shot from Cal. I'm oh, sorry, Luke Curtis, cheap shot on Cal here from behind. Oh, I'm sure Cal Hero was thinking about it. Thinking about it. A cheap shot. Luke Curtis, the blonde haired demon of the faction. Oh, Irish whip of Cal Hero slides out and what a clothesline! Luke Curtis turned inside out. Huge clothesline by the Rush Division champion. Luke, Luke Curtis lost a few highlights after that. Look at that, Luke Curtis. He's in the, the wrong the, end. Absolutely right. Cal Hero now back on the attack of Luke Curtis, the man he defeated at Independence Rage to become a Rush Division champion in a hellacious ladder match, Steve. And you hear these sadistic potato heads here at the Davis Arena tell break his arm. Bloodthirsty maniacs, these fans. Now, folks, you can catch most of these superstars on the Morgan to Morgan Summer Tour this weekend. We're coming to the Pulaski County Fair, and then Saturday we are going to be in courtesy Acura in Lexington for a free show. Come out and see all the stars of OVW. Luscious Lawrence, the king of Booty Island, now in the ring. This crowd bloodthirsty saying break his arm. Adam Revolver, just a few weeks ago, Steve, that stiff shot from that chair busted him open. He's barely able to compete now. This crowd, they want to see him go back on the, on the shelf. Nice fluid tag team wrestling here from Cal Hero, Omar Amir, and Luscious Lawrence. Adam Revolver in a place he definitely does not want to be. Another quick tag. Revolver being isolated here. This ring cut in half. And as a former tag team champion, Adam Revolver knows the dangerous predicament he's in, having this ring cut in half and being in the wrong corner. Yeah, a typical rear end to the arm maneuver there. 
That posterior based offense of Luscious Lawrence. It's unorthodox, but it's effective, Steven. Hold on. Double team maneuver from Omar Luscious, former tag team champions. Two got there, Volvo able to get out of it. Nearly had him there, but Mr. Electricity, Adam Revolver, found a way to kick out. Double tough, triple smart, Adam Revolver, a triple crown champion twice over here in OVW. That arm of Adam Revolver has been worked over by every member of this team multiple times. And Do you hear these maniacs? This crowd must hate his arm because they want that thing broken. Rocking here at the Davis Arena. Cal here, more than happy to acquiesce, trying to rip that thing out of socket. Attacking it from above, below, and anywhere else he can get purchased. Look at Cal Hero tossing him, tossing revolver to the corner. That and might have been a huge mistake. You gotta think that was directed to Luke Curtis. Cal wanted a piece of Luke Curtis, man, he's had issues with for months. But hey, I think Cal Hero happy to take on Joe Mack, the master of the Mack Knife Powerbomb. Joe Mack just so big and so powerful, Steve. Not only that, he's, he's hanging around people like Shannon the Dude, Adam Revolver, EC3, Jesse Goddard. He's getting a Harvard class education in professional wrestling. You're absolutely right. OVW is where those who want to learn to become professional wrestlers know they have to be. Joe Mack, a member of the faction, getting a little bit of a, a head start, if you will. Omar Amir and Joe Mack, forehead to forehead, the intensity here. And look, call it an oval tie up. And Steve, there are not a lot of men who can go pound for pound strength wise with Joe Mack, but Omar Amir just might be one of them. Omar Amir, definitely one of the strongest men in all of professional wrestling. Just so explosively powerful. And Steve, he can hit you from anywhere at any time. And that's what makes Omar dangerous. Joe Mack, though, oh, just so overwhelmingly powerful. And that size advantage of the seven-footer, Steve, cannot be overstated. Look how high Omar Mir, he just hopped over that seven-footer, then hit him with that beautiful drop kick. How in the hell did he get up that high? Omar Mir got anti-gravity boots, I guess. Just, just hopping right over Joe Mack, and hold on. Oh, Joe Mack, though. That's spinning back up while taking Omar down and landing on the back of his head. You talking about Joe Mack getting a master class every week, being a member of the faction. That point proven here in this matchup. Oh, blind tag there, Luscious Lawrence in. Joe Mack didn't see, but he definitely saw two battering rams coming at him in the form of Omar and Luscious. Huge double shoulder block, double hip toss now. Omar and Lush is in control. Now taking out the faction member by member. Look at this double Gorilla Press. Excuse me, Gorilla Press slam. Luke Curtis dropped. The counter hero, Luscious Lawrence and Omar Amir in firm control of this main event.
Folks, welcome back to this main event. Adam Revolver and Omar Amir have been squaring off throughout the break. And Steve, it's a familiar tale from the beginning of this matchup. Adam Revolver isolated. This ring cut in half. Throughout this whole match, somehow D Faction has not been able to get it together. Being run pillar to post by Omar Amir, Luscious Lawrence, and your Rush Division champion, Cal Hero. Now hold on. Luscious Lawrence thinking something. But based here. Big butt splash in the corner. Those things should be registered lethal weapons. Hold on. Luscious is feeling cheeky here. Run at him. Run like the wind that is going to come out of that. Thing. Luke Curtis saving Adam Revolver along with Shannon the Dude. But hold on. Omar Amir. Oh, give him a chop to the top of the head for his troubles. And send the Revolver back in. If all else fails, a Mongolian chop will get you there. And now... Gonna meet the cheeks. No! It's an Adam Revolver sandwich. Luscious is providing the buns. I am so disappointed in everything about life right now. L Luke Curtis now tossed in. Luscious Lawrence got those big meaty hands. Oh, hold on. No. No. Don't you dare. If that was a Revolver sandwich, this is a whole no! club, Steve. A travesty, unlike anything we have ever seen. Oh, Joe Mack in to break up the party, though. Joe Mack. Thank God. Spoiling the festivities for Lawrence, who was feeling it in the corner. Might have been inching closer to a win. But Any more cheek-based offense, and I would have I would have had my limit. Cal trying to save Luscious here. Tried, but the, look at the referee. Backing down Cal and Omar, and it's distracting the referee, allowing the cheap shots from the faction. You call them cheap shots, I call it taking advantage of a situation there. They're not mutually exclusive terms. Luke Curtis now legal man, Joe Max still launching Lawrence into the corner. Hold on, launching his own partner with that European in the corner. Full speed, full speed. You see, you gotta think we're, as we're heading towards the big one and that 10 man table ladders and chairs match on August 10th the gravity of this situation, the momentum that the faction could gain beating three of OVW's best tonight. They need to show that they are dominant, and I know very well that they can do it. The faction needs to prove a point here tonight. You're absolutely right, Steve. Now the personal stakes on each side. These folks, these men do not oh, like each other. These men have been at odds more than I can calculate. And hold on, Luke Curtis going for it. All city sent on a no one home. Luscious Lawrence got out of the way, but thankfully Luke Curtis able to get in and make a tag to the big man. Joe Mack back in. has been a big, big factor throughout this matchup. And hold on. The quick tag out. Send the revolver right back in. Lawrence trying to get to his corner. Revolver blocking him, though. Uh, you see the smartest man in OVW. Oh, you big back body drop from Lawrence. But Lawrence disoriented. Can't get to his corner. Luke Curtis pulling the feet out from under him. Lawrence Mir inches away from tagging. There it is. Cal Hero tagged in up and over. Steve, I think the referee might have lost the plot a little bit here. Luke Curtis, not the legal man. Well, it's going to be hard not to do that when you've got six men in the ring pretty much all at the same time. Cal Hero in like a house of fire, hitting anything that moves right now. Are you going to need to do just that and then some? Well, Cal got Luke Curtis up. Got him in a fireman's carry. Oh, no, my. Shades of... John Cena there. OVW alumni. We'll call that a pack of tune adjustment. Cal Hero laying out all the faction. Luke Curtis. This bloodthirsty crowd saying break his arm. Oh, Revolver going for double axe handle here. No, Fanny Pack knee. All while still holding the arm of certified Luke Curtis. Cal Hero so impressive right now, Steve. Really becoming a superstar before our eyes. This young kid, not just the Rush Division champion, but one of the greatest superstars in OVW today. And how sadistic as he continues to go after that arm to please these bloodthirsty fans. Fanny pack knee from Cal Hero. Luke Curtis down the hole on Joe Max sliding in from behind. Ooh. The immaculate one right around the throat. Omar Amir and Luscious Lawrence in, in to save Cal Hero. Joe Mack had his hands wrapped around the throat of... Hold on, hold on. Luscious Lawrence and Omar sending Joe Mack to the outside. The booty and the beast taking it.
to Big Joe Madden. Oh, and a revolver. Oh, revolver slid in with that championship. That Shannon the Dude's radio championship and just struck Cow Hero. Come on, ref. No more losses. Don't see a thing. No, are you kidding me? What the hell? Come Here on. Here it is. The Faction. The Faction stealing this match. Referee didn't see a thing, but now Revolver striking Cow Hero with that championship. Steve, the faction picking up the win here. Gaining momentum, heading towards the big one on August 10th. Brian, I don't know how many times I gotta tell you it is the faction, and they are standing tall here tonight. The winners of your main event. And you see Cal Hero laid out. Laid